All right, Coach. Talk Windsor. Um, it, it was a very tough game. Um, uh, how, how do you come back from that, especially going towards the next week like York? Well, first of all, Windsor is a really good football team, you know, and uh, I thought they did a great job just coming out playing really stout defensively and um, sticking to their game plan. And um, despite being a little bit undermanned and, and you know, um, us coming in uh, with a few key players out, I thought our guys played really tough, really physical, kept the game really close, you know, and ultimately it just came down to way too many mistakes on our part that they were able to capitalize on. And a lot of credit goes to their, you know, how aggressive they were to, to help create some of those um, you know, key mistakes on our part, but ultimately, you know, that, that's kind of what it came down to, just some beat yourself football on our part. But uh, I thought our guys, you know, did a good job handling the trip and, and going out and representing the program. So that brings the record to three and one with uh, a midway point of the season. Um, that causes for a big ramp up going into the second half. How does that start with York? Yeah, for us now, it's about just resetting the season, you know, and tre treating this as the halfway point, which it is, and a brand new start for us to go on a tour and kind of rewrite this whole thing. And uh, we feel good about being able to control our own destiny still. Um, and the key now is going to just be, obviously, to focus on one game at a time uh, and one day at a time and focus on the preparation and knowing that uh, we have a challenge coming up this week with a road trip against a team that's struggling that I think um, we, we should be able to go out and play really good football against and give ourselves a chance to win. Coach, is this is York what the doctor ordered? Well, I think, you know, anytime, you know, we can match up with someone, uh, we're going to look at their threats and how they, you know, pose a threat to us and the ability to, to beat us soundly and then uh, opportunities for us to showcase our, we our strengths against their weaknesses. And that's ultimately what it's going to come down to is, you know, just identifying what York does really well. And they've got some great personnel, some really dangerous ret returners and receivers and some, some interior defensive linemen that can cause, you know, absolute havoc in the backfield. So neutralizing those guys and then turning our guys loose to go play really aggressive football in all three phases, that's, that's what it's going to be about. No fear of, ugh, they're 0-5, we'll go in and we'll just dance all over them. No, for our team, you know, we're so preparation-based and respecting the opponents and what their, their threats are. Um, and I think we've acknowledged that in meetings. So our guys are just looking forward to going out, playing Queens football, you know, getting another road trip in and just making sure we're doing a good job of making progress right now in the season, which is what our team needs to do. We've got to capture some momentum and make progress and get a little bit better and, and come out with the win. You talk about one game at a time, so you're not saying, let's run the table, guys, because we'll be obviously in better shape than we are now. Yeah, what we did actually um, was we looked at what the second half of the season looks like as a whole and what the plan for is that, and then rechanneled back to, okay, now we got the York Lions and we've got you know a big practice tonight, and, and just going back to our method of, of one day at a time and one game at a time. But we did kind of reset ourselves for this is the second half of the season, it's a new season, and here's what we've got to accomplish. How do you read the team coming off the loss in Windsor? Are, well, obviously they had a day or two to say we lost, but now just what, let's get our crap together and let's go forward? Yeah, the energy's been really positive. Uh, a lot of positive energy, a lot of high energy throughout the building and at practice. The guys are just excited about playing football and playing football for Queens and with each other. And we know that um, you know when we do look back at the season, uh, it's really been a tale of a few plays. And if those plays go a little bit differently, we are in a totally different situation. You know, and then drawing a line there and saying, all right, here's the second half of the season. We control this, and if we can turn this around, we're going to be in an excellent spot. Um, where we're positioned to be hosting playoff games and making a run. I know you don't talk about injuries, but can you give us a status of Alex? Yeah, Alex will be out this week, and um, he suffered an injury, you know, um, in, in the game against the Mustangs, and uh, that's kind of all we'll comment on that, but he won't be playing this week. Oh. And uh, who stepped in? Russell Weir. Yep. Yeah, well, him stepping in, again. Talk about a learning experience, right? I'm sure that's how you chalk the Windsor game up to. Yeah, for sure. Tough environment for, for a young um, quarterback to go into against what I think is, is one of the top defenses in the country, that Windsor team. Um, and, and being on the road and, um, and, and things just not going your way with some key mistakes, that's a tough environment to be in. But, man, you can learn a lot from that, and I think our guys have. And, you know, between Russell Weir, Anthony, Leo, Luigi Stubert, Wolfgang Shad, we like the quarterback group and, and those guys, their ability to compete and continue to develop and give our team a chance to win. Great. Thanks, Coach. Thank okay. You, coach. Thank you. All right. Well, Go ahead. Sorry. Um, <laughs> help me out. Feeling on the team. Uh, one and three, you guys know you're better than that, yet you're not. So going into York, what, what's the feeling on the team? 
Um, so obviously the season hasn't started the way we would have wanted it to with having the one and three record right now. But the feeling on the team has been probably the same way it would be if we were 4-0 and right now. It's just staying in the wheelbarrow and staying focused and just trying to get better every single day we're out there. We can't control what's happened in the past. So we're just resetting and working on getting better for the future. We know that in football, it's a long season and it really comes down to every game one by one. So we just have to focus on York coming up this week and then reset from there. Tell me about playing York. What problems do they pose, if any? Uh, York has some pretty athletic players. And if you give them something, they're going to take it. They have some good receivers, some good returners, and just some playmakers all around. So we treat it like any other game. We just go out there, prepare, watching the film, having good practices all week going one play at a time and just getting everything ready when it comes time for game day. What do you guys have to do better? In terms of the whole team? Well, in or terms, even compared to last week? We just have to execute our game plan. Our coaches put us in a good position to you know, make the right plays and to neutralize the opponent. So as long as we go out there, maybe make some adjustments, but really just execute when it comes down to it. Uh, I've been confident in our preparation in practice and in getting good looks and having good competition throughout the week. So when it comes time to game day, we just have to make sure that we go out there, execute, and take care of business. Now, Queen's defense has been pretty strong this entire season, giving up very few touchdowns. Um, how do you communicate out, uh, out on the field and how do you maintain communication even in extremely tense situations? Uh, you, or do you mean like during the game yes, when it gets tense? Game, like, yeah. I would say as a defense, uh, even more so the defensive backs, we have some guys who have been playing together for a really long time. So we've been in a number of high intense games and it's really just about keeping our cool. One of our mottos is staying steady no matter the moment. So we just tra treat it one play at a time, try to have as much communication as possible, what the play is, what the offense is doing, and just taking it one play at a time having high intensity in practice. So when we go out there on the game day, it feels the same. And we just got to keep doing what we do every single day. Eric, coach said energy was good at practice this week. Um, was it kind of status quo at practice? Um, obviously, Windsor wasn't the result you wanted, but, but sort of just the same thing you've been doing all year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Windsor wasn't what we wanted, obviously, with the loss. And you have the day after the game to kind of reflect on that. But when it comes time to practice Monday, Tuesday, we get back in it. Always got to be high energy and we just grind and looking forward to the next opponent. So no matter what the result, if it's a big win, if it's a loss, we just always come to a practice ready with that dominant mindset, just ready to get at it and compete with each other. Excellent. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. I'm Theo Grant, uh, right tackle. What's mindset going into going into York? Yeah, it's really uh, we just had to reset from that first half of the season. It definitely uh, didn't break quite the way we wanted it to. So going into York, we know that like we still control uh, our destiny moving forward as it comes to playoff positioning and whatnot. So uh, we just had to reset and uh, take it one game at a time right now. Mm -hmm. The fact they're zero and five. Do you read anything into that? No, not at all. I mean, you look at us and we're one and three. That's you know one game better. Uh, we're still really confident about how good a team we can be. So uh, we got to think they're thinking the same about themselves and uh, go and just trying to do as well as we can. How good a team can you be? I think we can be very good. Uh, I think we've shown that at times. Uh, we just have to focus on eliminating some mistakes and uh, go forward trying to be as best as, we, as good as we can. Again, easier said than done, though. Absolutely. Um, Theo, um, Coach said York's interior defensive line can cause problems. I know that's maybe not quite you being on the outside, but if you can talk about York's defense and the challenge that, uh, that you'll face on Saturday. Yeah, York's front seven gave us, uh, gave us a real tough game last year, and uh, they've got some of the same personnel back, some, some have left, uh, but we expect them to give us a tough game again, uh, just, like, just like they did last year and like they probably will have done for everyone else. And if you can just talk about preparation this week, was it status quo? Uh, we prepared the same we usually prepare, but that's crazy intense. We, we prepare with an intensity to get better as fast as we can and every week, so uh, we just did that again and are continuing to do that. Uh, working with, with Russell, 
last week. Uh, is, is there a difference with him and Alex, or is it just your job's the same, you know, just protect the quarterback? Same job, just got to protect the quarterback. Yeah. Oh, when it comes to a tough loss, is there any player on the team that y you can think of that uh, maintains player spirits and keeps, uh, keeps everyone going forward? I think uh, every position group has their own uh, – their own leaders there, and every, we all fall back on that. And then as an offense, you know, we have our offensive captains and other players that step up in big moments, uh, and we just stick together as a whole team. All good? Great. Thanks, Theo. Sweet. Perfect. Thank you. Jared Tsiwe, the Hudson back. Jared, I uh, asked Eric the same thing. Steve said there's some, some weapons on York uh, as a defensive back. What Can you talk about the challenge that uh, that you'll have in front of you on Saturday? Yeah, like, like, like Eric said, there's a lot of good – receivers and running backs on New York and just got to stick to our schemes and execute our game plan and we should be good on, on game day. And then if you want to talk about practice, um, was, it, was it sort of status quo? Um, everyone said you kind of bring the same energy regardless of maybe the situation. Yeah, uh, we have a pretty good standard here. Like, as you can see, the success we've had in a few years, like the standard is always, uh, always maintained no matter who we play, no matter how our season's going. So we just let's stick with the standard and go at it, to treat each week like a new week. So. Uh, and then just uh, another road trip, two in a row. Uh, if you can talk about maybe team camaraderie or, or what, what a road trip does, you know, sort of for the team. Yeah, I, I feel like we kind of take road trips as kind of like business trips. Like, at a home game, you're staying in the house. But a road trip, it's all football for almost 48 hours. So it's just, you got to stick to it and get the game, go do the game, and it's all football for 48 hours. And that's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah. Do you flush the first half? Uh, I feel like... A flush in, in a sense. Obviously, we're not where we want to be as a team, but that just shows us where we need to go. And we know we have great aspirations for this team, and we know where we can be. And just now resetting, sticking with our standard, and looking forward to the next half of the season. Same thing, mindset. Uh, you guys are very, I guess, tunnel vision, right? You don't yeah. worry about running the table now. You just worry about York and after that? Yeah, we just worry about staying steady. We always re reset each week and just... Focus on our task at hand, which is York this week and every week after that. So mm -hmm. yeah. you've seen film. What are they? Are they going to hit you with anything that you'd be surprised at, or, or um, you seem very adaptable? Yeah, they have they have a lot of uh, explosive weapons on the team. We're just sticking to our scheme and execute on game day. All good. Awesome. Thanks, Jerry. Right, thank you. Appreciate, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs>